Good morning dear friends and brothers and sisters greetings in the name of Jesus Christ It is so good that we could be together again a few minutes in the beginning of this day in the presence of the Lord meditating on God's word Today's meditation is centered around questions that we ask We seek the answers to these questions The Bible says God is a spirit and a spirit does not have a body. How can we perceive him if he doesn't have a body? How can we communicate with him? It is absolutely necessary to communicate in order to maintain any meaningful relationship. True religion has to be a true relationship. not a set of rules and rituals and customs it has to be a relationship with god a very personal god who is interested in you as a person and so here is a personal god who is interested in you because you are created as a person in his own image and likeness a personal god who is interested in you always a meaningful relationship has to be direct and not indirect through some medium and uh, in order to know a person one has to live with him and start dealing with him and this is true about knowing god start living with him and start dealing with him the question is is it possible our only hope is god himself he has to make it possible for you and for me to start living with him and deal with him and that is exactly what he did the creator seeking to be a creation in order to win back humanity lost in sin the invisible god seeking to be flesh and blood and born and thus become visible the spirit to seeking to have a form for to touch for us to touch and to feel and look upon the immortal god becoming mortal to give man immortality now christmas is all about this christmas is god becoming man in order to seek and to save that which was lost now what is lost to god humanity this is what saint john is saying in these two verses we have read jesus christ came to connect earth to heaven so that man could fulfill the purpose for which god has created him and what is that purpose worship and my friends worship is a heavenly activity everything else will come to an end with this life and when we are in the presence of god in his heavenly places eternally there will be no prayer there will be no preaching the gospel there will be no tongues no prophesying and nothing of these other gifts but still there will be a one activity that will continue to happen even in heaven constantly which is worship and so it is good for us to engage in worship even in this life at this present time here on earth because when we are engaged in that heavenly activity the worldly activities will take a back seat they will not be a hindrance to us so worship god more and more 
only man has in him the capacity for direct knowledge of god he came as the as the bridge by whom man could cross over cross over the gulf the separating us from god and what has separated us from god the sin and in christ god is again communicating with us and with man in christ god is again interested in getting back in that personal relationship in christ man has a revelation of god what god is what god desires for each and every one of us he wants everyone to receive eternal life by believing in the lord jesus christ god's son jesus came to make us alive who were dead in our sins and in our trespasses and in our iniquity and john's gospel chapter 17 verse 3 says this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent john chapter 3 verse 16 says a very very familiar verse to all of us for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life this is communication god has communicated with us his will for us that we believe god the father and god the son and thus have eternal life as john's gospel the same chapter says everyone who has the son has life and everyone who does not have the son has no life but the condemnation of god is hanging over him and he also told us the consequences of rejecting the offer of eternal life what is it judgment and condemnation why all this fuss about human being about man because he is special no other creation can be compared with the man's creation he is god's own handiwork my friends everything else god brought forth into existence by the power of his word he spoke and they all came into being not so with the human for that god came down and he put some effort he stooped down and picked up a handful of mud and created a formed man with his own hand and then he further stooped down and breathed his breath into the nostril of a man you see how special you are you are not like any other creation you are his own handiwork that is why man is called the crown of god's creation and when he created man with his own hand he put his own likeness and image in man and so there is a reflection of god's nature in man and that is what makes man very special you are my friend very very special you have not evolved from a lower species of life into what you are today no you were created by the creator as a special creation and the main purpose for which you are created is to worship him and glorify him so the more you worship 
you are fulfilling god's one purpose for which he has created you and a man is the only crea- creature which has the capacity to connect with god and then worship him no other creation no other creature and therefore throughout eternity we are going to live with god he will allot to each one of us our responsibilities we have to accomplish in heaven and continue to do his work but meanwhile along with the work this worship shall never cease either and that is the beauty of life that's why heaven is going to be a very busy place for god's people but they never get tired they never get bored they never get uneasy no is you are perfect in every way perfect in health perfect in understanding perfect in your relationship perfect as a being of god in and through whom god is glorified eternally this is the plan of god that his own image will be made perfect in you and may the lord help you to understand God's plan and purpose for you and live to enjoy doing God's will and fulfilling God's purpose father everyone who is listening this will be excited about the prospects of living eternally with you not only in doing our responsibilities which will be given to us to do throughout eternity along with that the joy and privilege of worshiping you so we understand worship is a heavenly activity which we are privileged to do even now and so may we develop the spirit of worship in us and continue to worship you that we may enjoy god's power and glorify you in jesus name amen so my friend this is the day god has given you worship him thus glorify him and have a wonderful great day amen